Morning guys, how's it going? <clears throat> All rugged up because it's like 12 degrees here this morning at 6-ish, 7-ish. Still wearing rubbers, nice pink and purple. So I was having a discussion with my owner on the Easter long weekend um, and talking about um, the change in the type of play that's been seen in the scene uh, recently, not the type of play as in, you know, um, lousy birds, <laughs> well, loud birds, as in, um, you know, uh, impact or wax or anything like that. It's more the fact that um, the people playing and their relationships is that there's more, um, I guess, casual players or players that aren't in really long-term kink relationships that are playing in the scene these days. And this conversation came about because of um, things such as consent and consent violations. And it was basically, um, so you know, there's been a significant increase in consent violations with a lot of new people coming in not that new people are doing bad things but that there's a massive increase in casual play now I've had to change my advice to some people that come into the kink scene because of this because a lot of new people will want to try lots of new things um, and they're not or may not be in an actual relationship before or when they get into um, the kink scene so they don't have like a, a long-term partner to try this out and they don't have that dynamic so the, the theory is in general discussion was around basically the increase in consent violations consent issues and and all that with the increase in a lot of casual plays and it was pointed out that you know um, not so long ago maybe about five to eight years ago um, most of the people that played at events um, were long-term partners and they played and they played hard and, you know, they, they knew each other. They played not only privately but at events because there was a bit of exhibitionism that goes on there. Now, new people come into the scene into events and watch this and I think that's normal. It is for the people in long-term relationships, it's normal to play that way. But it's not always normal for beginners um, it's it puts a bit of a skew on kind of what people expect or they think that they can take um, or like you know um, there was a sub who was like oh, oh, my dominant who I'm now engaged to likes to do a lot of impact play I don't like it doesn't turn me on um, what should I do? I said, well, you know, tell them, but I want to please them and take pain and lots of for them. They go, yeah, but if you're having this relationship forming the basis of a lie, which is basically what it is, it's not going to last very long. Um, if you are upfront and tell them, well, then you can either work it out or, you know, um, figure out ways around it um, one of the things is a lot of people worry that or, or they want to or expect that they will be the one and only for their dom or sub and I'm like well that's may or may not be the case that's more an exception than the rule um, particularly these days because again the increase in casual play and lots of people want to try different things um, lots of different relationships are, and the way we look at relationships change like the the way poly relationships um, were and um, the way they are now are vastly different so have you noticed like how long have you been in the kink scene how long have you been there like and what have you observed like from when you first started to to now what things have changed what new terminologies have people come up with I mean um, 
there's a lot of people I know, and I think <laughs> I was one of the first people to start the term poly play, um, particularly in the scene. And people are like, oh, well, what's that? I said, well, to me, poly play is like, you know, someone that you say, so like, there's a, a couple and they're generally monogamous, but the play is not the person who wants one or the other to play plays outside that relationship and a lot of people call that poly play because they're monogamous other than the fact that they play with other people as in um yeah well generally that they play with other people now these days having that was when I first started but coming into it now I realize that it's more normal to have relationships where you can't fulfill every single want and need of the other person otherwise why would we have friends outside of our own relationships? Why would we have friends that are just work colleagues that we go out and have drinks with that we only talk to about work stuff? You know, um, why else would we then have family? Because they fulfill different kinds of needs within us. So, have you noticed an increase, decrease, or a change in the way in terminology in which people use them to regard to their different relationships and different types of play? And um, what do you think about that? Do you think it has changed? Has there been a massive increase and you see a lot more people casually play? Like they might be good friends um, and have like a casual DS relationship, but how many have lasted for a long time? How deep is that relationship? Are they really involved as a, a proper relationship, like as in a proper intimate relationship? And how many of them are really just really good friends? Who um, you can they can trust and you know how do kink stuff with? I mean, there's plenty of people I know who have really good friends who they trust to just do anything with. The level of trust there is good and that's awesome, but there's also people that they will only trust with certain other things as well, and that's in it for a more intimate relationship. So have a think about that. Um, the way things have changed with play in the scene, what you've seen publicly as opposed to privately and private parties. Um, have you had the discussion about, you know, um, the types of casual play and the types of long-term play? I mean, it's, it's all flipped about. There used to be lots of partner playing, like as in long-term DS relationship partner playing and very little casual play. And now it's more, casual play seems to be more the norm. Um, and as such, I know I've talked to people and said, look, you know, you're new, you're going to get hurt because what you expect is not really what you see. Um, the reality to do with the fantasies is very different. And I encourage people to get their network of support up, talk to people, get informed, um, and just learn more, get different points of view, not just the one, not just the ones that please you, get the ones that you don't like because they are invaluable. Anyway, that's it for me this morning. I hope you have a good day and hope you had a good Easter. Bye.